Hello there, welcome to Crafting a Life with Fee. So I thought I'd pop in today and show you today's gifts from the garden. We're getting berries every day and I was hoping I could preserve some, but we seem to be eating them every day, but that's absolutely fine. Uh, and I've also picked some chives and some parsley this morning because I'm about to make some savoury scones, which is a family favourite. So I better get to it. So I'm going to cheat a little today and I'm going to use my Thermomix. I have just mixed in about 25 grams of butter with 400 grams of self-raising flour and I've just whizzed it round so that it's sort of crumbly. You do the same with your hand or with a mixer if you wanted to do it in a different method. So now I'm going to chop up the chives, the parsley and some bacon. and a handful of chives and they can be dried if you don't have fresh that's fine and there we go then we're going to add one egg and we're also going to add a handful of grated cheese which would be about half a cup then to that we're going to add 100 and 25 grams or mils of thickened cream and then another 125 mils of milk and what I like to do is if I'm at the end of my cream container I like to fill it up with milk so I get every last skerrick of that cream out of there. And then you just mix it all up. Now, if you're doing it with a wooden spoon or with a mixer, that's fine. I'm using the thermo mix, which has a blade, and I don't want it to chop down any of my ingredients any further. So I'm going to actually mix mine on reverse so that the blades don't cut anything. So that has been mixed for eight seconds on speed four in reverse. And so now I'm going to use the dough method and I'm going to mix it around for 45 seconds on the dough setting. Okay, and there we have it. So I'm just getting it out of the Thermomix. If you are doing it by hand, you might need to knead it a little bit longer. You don't want to over knead it, but you just want to get it all so it's nicely combined. I'll just use a knife to get underneath the blade. That's the only thing I hate about the Thermomix is that stuff gets stuck under the blade but you can put the lid back on and whiz it around for a couple of seconds and you can get everything from around that blade now i'm popping this onto a floured mat and i'm not going to need it very much at all i'm just going to press it out so i'm just going to take my scone cutter i've got a nice crinkly one there i'm going to cut them put them onto a tray with a with baking paper and then we're going to give them a milk bath pop them into a moderate oven, and then I'll show you how good they look when they come out. a basket to cool with a nice clean tea towel you don't want them too cool before you eat them because you want the butter to melt and drip there we go. that's a dozen beautiful scones made in just half an hour 
give them a bit of a cover up with your tea towel and then get them ready to serve.